Control access to fields. Learning objectives. After completing this unit, you will be able to list reasons to limit access to specific fields, view and edit field level security settings, modify field level security. Defining field level security for sender to field is the second piece of the security and sharing puzzle after controlling object level access. In some cases, you want users to have access to an object, but limiting their access to individual fields in that object. Field level security settings or field level permission control, whether a user can see, edit and delete the value for a particular field or an object. There are the settings that allow us to protect sensitive fields such as a candidate social security number without having to hide the candidate object. Unlike page layouts, which only control the visibility of fields on detail and edit pages, field level security controls the visibility of fields in any part of the app, including related lists, list views, reports, and search results. In fact, to make, an, to make absolutely sure that the user can access a particular field, it's important to use a field level security page for a given object to restrict access to the field. There are simply no other shortcuts that provide the same level of protection for a particular field. For example, here are some field level security settings you can set for the recruiting app. Position object height, minimum and maximum pay for the standard employee and interviewers. Candidate objects hide social security numbers from hiring managers and interviewers. Job application object make the position and candidate lookup fields read only for hiring managers. Field settings can be applied either by modifying profiles or permission sets or from the field accessibility menu in setup. After setting field level security for users, you can Create page layouts to organize the fields on detail and edit pages. Verify users' access to fields by checking the field accessibility. Customize search layouts by, to the set of the fields that display in search results, in the lookup dialog search results, and in key lists on the tab home pages. Restrict field level access with a profile. You apply field settings by modifying profiles or permission set. Let's try restricting a user's general access with a profile. Then we can expand it as needed with a permission set. If you haven't already done it, before you start, enable the enhanced profile user interface. Type user management settings in the quick find box in setup. Then turn on enhanced profile user interface. We have already done that, so we don't need to do that. Use a quick find box to find properties to find profiles and setup. Select the profile you want to change. Standard user will do nicely. Click object settings and select the object for which you want to update the field settings. Click edit. For each field, specify the kind of access you want for users with this profile and save your settings. So we have already done this stuff, so we don't need to do it again, basically. So what we did here in the uh, cleaner profile, click on edit. And um, there we have like all these permissions. Where do we have them here? Standard object permissions, so where we can choose everything. So this is it, basically. And uh, yeah, now you've set field level of security for sensitive data. You can create page layouts to organize fields for users' convenience and customize how the fields display in search results and lists. For the final piece of the puzzle, specify the individual records for each user with user ne uh, which user needs access to. By combining security controls at all three levels, you can set up a highly secure data access model, which is flexible enough to meet the needs of many different types of users. Add field access with a permission set. Let's look how field settings can be applied by modifying permission sets. Remember, a permission set is for expanding a user access to fields that are restricted in their profile. Let's set up our interviews to update the candidate record when they have interviewed a candidate. We will assume our interviewer have the standard user profile. We work with permission set when we set up our custom objects. Now we will go back to that setup page to make sure the right fields in our objects are available to the users who need them. In setup, we use the quick find box to find permission sets. Select the permission set and click object settings. Okay, let's do that.
Oh yeah, and we have the object settings. Maybe here, not really sure. Not, doesn't look like it. Select permission set and click the object set. I'm not really sure where to find them, to be honest. Maybe under manage assignments, or it's just for you, no, it's just for user assignments. Okay, so I looked around and apparently it's not available in this cloned one at all. I need to go to another one. I went to the trailhead permission set and uh, there we have it. So for the trailhead permission set, uh, object settings. Object. And the candidate object. Well, we don't have the candidate object, but could create one here, but let's just go to uh, a random one. So here we can edit things. Read access, edit access, that kind of stuff. See why we have uh, see how we have enabled our interviews to both read and change the values of the apex and C boxes. Now they can check or uncheck those boxes when they have determined the candidates' command and of those skills. We have prevented them from changing the hire by date or the name of the hiring manager, but they can see that information. And they don't need to know the pay rate for the position, so we have removed both read and edit access for those fields. Click manage assignment and select the user who you expect to need the permissions you have specified. Click add assignments and done. So manage assignment would be here and there we could just like select the user. Hands on challenge, create a profile and permission set to properly handle field access. All the sales team members have access to create, edit and view accounts and contacts but not delete them. 
Also only select senior sales members should be able to see or edit the account rating field for this challenge. Assume they have the same object and field permissions of the standard user profile. For this challenge you will use both the profiles and permission sets to control object level permissions. So I still haven't figured out how to get this done so we will just do the challenge again and this time in my other uh, developer account which I used for this challenge. So clone the standard user profile. S standard user clone. Profile name sales. Save. Control access for the sales profile. Object permission accounts. Read, create, edit. So uncheck, delete. Contact, read, create, edit. Maybe I forgot to do that before. I'm not really sure. Field permissions, rating on the account object. Okay, let's save this. Okay, let's go to the object manager, go to accounts. Fields and relationships. Rating. Field level security. No, it's not there. You feel it. Accessibility.
Let's see if we can change it this way. It's hidden, but I don't know like if this will actually work. I'm gonna Google this again just to make sure. Let's just leave this visible and um, let's go back to the profile. security rating okay is there yeah they didn't really write it in a way where you can easily figure that out but it's here so edit access was already not there but now we have removed the read axis as well. All of the permissions from the standard profile remain as is. Now we create the rating label. Uh, Now we create the rating permission set. So now we create the rating permission set. Salesforce. I think I forgot to add the use license here, so yeah, just recreate this. Salesforce. There we go. Rating permission. Okay, where do we edit this? On the object settings, just let me check. Just enable this at rating and if we enable the permissions at rating then 
the rating field will be visible and editable. So let's see if we get the points this time, if the challenge works. And we got the 500 points.